This is the 1932 Compton Cinema Organ installed in UCH uh, University of Limerick's Concert Hall. It's the only surviving theatre pipe organ in Ireland um, in anything close to playing condition. Uh, it's one of a number that were installed in the 1930s in the era of the Super Cinema. And this instrument was originally in the Savoy Cinema in Cork. It was removed from the Savoy uh, in the 1960s and then stored. And then when University Concert Hall was built, the organ was installed here. It hasn't been used for many years and the University Concert Hall uh, team are in the process of having the organ brought back to life. And I'm here as an advisor for that process. The organ's being uh, taken apart, dismantled very carefully. The pipes have been catalogued because it is the only example surviving in Ireland. But the main part of the work is the restoration of the playing mechanism. So there are thousands of small parts that are going to be taken to the UK and will be restored by specialists with extensive experience in working in, in cinema organs uh, to bring the instrument back to life. And that work will happen over the next 12 months and hopefully this time next year we'll see the instrument back and playing. Uh, there are many pipes in it, it's similar to a church organ but on a rather different scale. Um, it's designed to be heard in a large auditorium but never be seen. It's actually in this rather large concrete chamber here made of concrete bricks and there's an opening uh, to my right um, of shutters that let the sound out into the auditorium. So this is the bit people don't see. Um, it's incredibly loud when it's playing in here because it has to fill a very large auditorium and it's scaled much bigger in terms of the way the, the, the sounds and the tone of the organ is produced compared to a pipe organ. If you look at these large pipes here, um, you see that the height of this area, which we call the mouth, is really exaggerated in a church organ that would be much lower, um, but this is because it's driven to make the absolute maximum size. Uh, it's also full of effects and just here um, we have a stack of per melodic percussions so they are inst real instruments from the orchestra like xylophone and glockenspiel and they're played uh, from the organ console or the keyboards um, so that the organist can create not only effects similar to organ sounds but very much in the style of orchestral uh, music and also uh, dance music. They were really popular instruments in the 1920s, 30s and 40s um, and featured in cinemas as a way for one person to fill an auditorium with live music. Um, their heyday was cut short by the war and also the advent of recorded sound with film. Although they, they survived for, for a number of decades being used as interludes between film features. Uh, and it was really only until the decline of the super cinema, the very large cinema in the 1960s, that these organs fell into disuse. A lot were taken out, many were sadly just destroyed or broken up for a limited number of parts. But a number were rescued, I suppose, by enthusiasts and retained. And that, I believe, is the story here, that somebody saw the organ coming out of Cork and, and bought it, and it eventually made its way here to University Concert Hall. So this is part of the main chamber of the organ. Some of the pipes have already been removed to preparing for the uh, main chest mechanisms uh, to be taken away to be reconditioned and restored. The pipes here to my right are the pipes of the tuba rank, which makes a, uh, a dark horn sound, really uh, used uh, a lot in dance music um, uh, for those sort of uh, 1930s, 40s jazz band sounds. On my left hand side we have pipes from the string ranks. There are three string ranks in this instrument and they're very narrow scale. They're used for complemental effects. They're sometimes called stair rod scales. They're so narrow and they go uh, right the way from just a pipe this height, with it, which is one octave below middle C, uh, right up to very, very high pitched pipes, but extremely narrow scale. And then left to my left again of those pipes we have some of the bass pipes of the organ um, and you see that they're getting into much larger scales they produce the the, the low bottom notes of the instrument um, uh, played from the pedals and used for the bass line in accompaniment behind where we're looking at the moment we have the percussions of the um, main part of the organ they include sound effects like sirens and 
horses' hooves and all sorts of different things that they would have been used for filling in sounds in the background of silent movies. This is the console of the Compton pipe organ um, and as you can see it's a showman's console, very different to a church organ type console which would be much more sober. This is designed as a theatrical feature. This was originally in the Savoy and Cork mounted on a platform lift in the orchestra pit uh, so the console and organist could be raised while the organist was playing um, up for a solo feature and back down uh, to accompany a, a film or just to go have a break. Um, you can see there's an array of these stop tabs, different to the conventional church organ where you have pull out stops, draw stops. These are stop tabs designed to make it really quick to change registrations and there are hundreds of them. Uh, the names on them, uh, some of them look like orchestral instruments, some are um, in terms that are specific to the organ, but you'll see things like xylophones, sleigh bells, chimes, glockenspiel, and things like uh, trumpet, uh, tuba and flute. Uh, there are three keyboards and pedals and the organist uh, uses the keyboards for different effects. In the cinema organ style it's very much a solo melody, sometimes counter melody played on with the right hand on one of the keyboards and then an accompaniment played with the left hand on the other and a bass line on the pedal. And the bass line is really important in terms of rhythmic and dance music. Um, so if you think of the sort of music of the Glenn Miller type band, that's what was played on these instruments. You'll also see there are uh, foot pistons here. Some of them bring on, like a conventional church or classical organ, bring on combinations and stops, but other ones are for the silent movie sound effects. And you'll see things like doorbell, fire bell, birds, uh, motor horns, siren, cymbal roll, steamboat. They're all effects that were used. Now you'd expect a Foley sound, putting those sounds in. But of course, in the era of the silent movie, it was the organist who did those. Sometimes by pressing a button to create the effect, sometimes by the way they played. Um, so the console is to be cleaned up, repainted. It's actually in very good condition. It's been very well preserved here. Um, the console was uh, restored and rewired in 1993-94 when it was installed in the uh, concert hall here, but obviously uh, it'll need a little bit of love and care to bring it back to full order um, as part of this work. Thank you.